Hello everyone, hope you all are having a great Christmas holiday. Today I want to share with you guys 15 new mods released recently for 1.19.2 and 1.19.3. Check the title cards if you want to find out about the mod loader and the Minecraft version for each mod. And let's get into the video. First, a word from our sponsor. It's Yahaha Studio again. They were nice enough to give me a second sponsor, so let me tell you a little bit about them. Yahaha Studio is a new user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experience. This software aims to allow everyone to create and publish their virtual experiences without coding experience or server knowledge. Now let me show you how you can use the millions of features, components, and smart assets in Yahaha Studio to create the game that you want to make. We can make use of this template as a start. You can manipulate almost anything on the scene, including the skybox. You can choose between different skyboxes and adjust their colors or saturations. As I mentioned, you can change pretty much everything in this scene, so go out. Now, if you want to learn more, Yahaha Studio hosts regular live sessions to help creators enhance their building skills. You can find them live on Twitch or the previous sessions on YouTube. Click the link in the description below to check out Yahaha and start making your dream game for free. Thank you Yahaha Studio for sponsoring this video. The first mod that we have is Numus Settlement. This mod adds new blocks, items, structures, along with new creatures that reside in them. There are the hunters, workers, and shamans. These creatures drop loot bags, which gives you different vanilla items on each row. There are also new rats that usually spawn in colder biomes. You can trade with these creatures by giving them cheese. Provoking them though, it's probably not a good choice. The second mod that we have is Regions Unexplored. This mod adds in a few new biomes into the game. There are also new tree types and blocks. The third mod that we have is Villager Comfort. This mod makes it so that villagers will charge you prices according to their mood. Now their mood is affected by three things. If it lives in a place with a spacious bathroom, working office, and is able to walk around freely to have conversations with other villagers, then the mood will improve, and vice versa. The aim of this mod is to prevent players from building small prison cells for their trading centers, and instead encouraging players to actually provide a decent place for the villagers. The next mod we have is Nightmare Epic Siege. This was quite a famous mod back in 1.12.2 which I also used for another mod pack. I won't dive too deep into the description, but the creatures that you'll be fighting will be nightmares to deal with once you got this mod installed. Now that it's out in 1.19, I'm looking forward to seeing some hardcore mod packs being made with this mod. After that we have Paku. I actually featured this mod once in my channel already, but since this mod got multiple major updates, I thought it would be a good idea to go back and take a look, and this mod definitely improved a lot. The parkouring actions feel so smooth and natural to use, and it seemed they added a few extra movesets as well. If you're looking for a good parkour mod for the latest versions of Minecraft, then I think this mod does it the best. Alright, coming up next is Repair Kit. This mod simply adds in a repair kit, which allows you to repair items on the spot. Simply hold the kit on your hand with the item that you want to repair on your offhand, then press right click. It's worth noting that the golden or iron repair kit can repair higher tiers of tools as well. Romus is easily one of the most impressive mods that I've seen recently. This mod adds these NPC-like creatures into the game. What differentiates this mod from the others is that they actually function like regular players. They will chop down trees or obstacles around the base, then proceed to build their houses. If they feel hungry and have no food in their inventory, they will go around and hunt animals. If they encounter another NPC with the opposite gender, well this is not very player-like, but they will actually make babies. You can interact with these NPCs by giving them items such as food or building blocks. The more items you give to an NPC, the better your relationship is with them. They will even protect you from monsters if they like you enough. There are also bandits that hunt down villagers and NPCs. Overall, I gotta say I'm quite blown away by this mod. The next mod, Villager Brute, simply adds a brute that sometimes replaces the Iron Golem as the guardian of a village. These brutes are slightly stronger than Iron Golems and can heal villagers and fight off creepers as well. Dread Steel is a mod that adds a set of late game weapons and armor into the game. These items are currently not attainable in survival mode, but it's definitely a cool addition for mod packers to consider. The shield and the scythe have special abilities that are activated on use. Blood and Stuff is a simple mod that adds blood particles for all existing creatures. In my opinion, the particles are sometimes a bit too much. Hopefully a config will be available for later versions. 
the last boss mod that we have is Ender Trigon. This mod overhauls the Ender Dragon boss fight and adds two hats to the Ender Dragon. Alright, moving on to fabric, we have simple hats. This mod adds a good amount of cosmetic hats into the game. Since they fit in the curious slot instead of the helmet slot, you can wear your regular helmet while keeping these cool hats on display. Next up, we have simple animated guns. This mod adds a few animated weapons into the game. And let me just say that these are some of the most finely animated guns that I've seen in Minecraft. Frostful is a mod that adds a new frost mechanic into the game that is separate from the powder snow mechanic. A frost effect will start to build up whenever you travel cold biomes. You will freeze to death if you let it fill up your health bar. You can counteract the cold by sitting next to fire, wearing new sets of fur armor, or even steal heat from your enemy using this enchantment. Alright, so the last part that we have is Curse of the Warden. Wardens will now turn creatures they killed into its minions. These creatures attack everything it sees except for the Warden. As you can probably tell, this will make the Warden even more dangerous than before. So yeah, that's it. Since this is probably the last video I'll make this year, I hope you all had a great year and I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao.